Annyeonghaseyo. I'm the Marshley. I'm Arielle. And we're so, so do for two. two. Okay, so the review we're going to be doing today is uh, one that's difficult for us to say. Yeah, so okay, it's Sung Kung Kwan Scandal. Scandal. We'll call it S Scandal from now on because it's a little difficult for us to say, but we will we'll try. Um, the main characters of this, this is the first historical drama that we're also yeah. reviewing. So uh, the Historical, main, like, I think more loosely based. But yeah. The, <laughs> we're not sure about the historical accuracy <laughs> of this one, but we enjoy it. Uh, the main characters, so the uh, main male lead is, the character's name is Lee Son Jun, played by Mickey Yu Chan. Chun from uh, JYJ. Then you have Kim Yoon Hee, played by Park Min Young. Gu Yong Ha, played by Song Yong Ki. And Moon Jae Shin, played by Yu Ain. Okay. So the characters in this, this is like the quartet, right? Yes. These four people. Um, and, I mean, this is an ensemble, I think, definitely, as far as, like, everybody here is really important. Yeah. This is, like, one of those stories where I felt like without everybody, it wouldn't have worked quite as well. And it's really, it's another one of our cross-dressing dramas. Yes. So cross she drama. is cross-dressing um, like, to provide for her family. Yeah, I think Classic Park story. Young is the least uh, believable Yeah, boy. she's <laughs> really pretty. So it's really, I, we, yeah. from the beginning, we're like, okay, we can't I really remember watching this. this, I, like, turned it around to show my husband, and I'm like, does this look like a woman or a man? And he was like, a woman. So yeah. I don't know. So you have to suspend disbelief yeah. on that one. But we really, um, we love this show. From yeah. the start. We, started, we just started watching it. It came out in 2010, but we did it, we aren't really, we weren't really drawn to the historical dramas yeah, right after that. Way. So even though we like, uh, period pieces, British mm-hmm. period pieces, we've never really watched any, uh, Korean yet. So this one we really enjoyed. So we hope yeah. all the other ones are like this. We'll definitely get into more. <laughs> uh, and then chemistry. So we'll go right into that. It's great. It's great, yeah. Uh, I mean, her chemistry with everybody is great. So uh-huh. with even the characters who, like, um, Gu yong or what's his name? yo Weem, or whatever they call him. yo Weem. yo Weem. So, I mean, even with him, like, to start out with, he's actually one of the first people you meet. Mm-hmm. Um, and he kind of encounters her in her... Uh, persona as a boy. Which usually means he's the one that ends up with her. But no. Not in this case. So, <laughs> um, so he meets her in a persona as like, you know, uh, t- doing transcribing, mm-hmm. what is, uh, different test things or things yeah, like that. Yeah, cheat sheets. Yeah, basically. exactly. Um, and, you know, he meets her right away and it's just right away you like him. You know, it just then her character with uh, Jai, uh, Jai Shin, with Moon Jai Shin, like even, I mean, you think maybe she'll end up with him. I wanted her at some points to end up with him. And then obviously uh, with Sun Jun, I mean, you know, you knew that was gonna work out well. So it's like, this was one of those ones where it was actually kind of hard for me to, like, choose who I wanted her to be with, because I saw all of them as being, like, excellent possibilities for her. <laughs> yeah, so this is, obviously this is the love triangle. Yeah. I mean, clearly it's it's, it's not really, like, a love triangle, because no. even though they all sort of, like, are attracted to her, mm-hmm. and they really like her, and they want to protect her, it's really this the one person loves her. And even though um, he doesn't know... So pretty no, late. Knows, yeah, like really late. This is this definitely reminds us more of like Coffee Prince because mm-hmm. it's a lot later um, that he knows that she's a woman. Yeah, whereas I feel like with the uh, Josh Shin character, like Josh Shin, um, he knows early, which kind of reminds me of You're Beautiful. Yes. Even though it's not completely Shin-wa, early. Yeah. yeah, with, um, he like, you know, in, oh, in, Woo, in You're Beautiful, he picks up on the fact she's a girl immediately. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, um, you know, his character in S Scandal doesn't, but still it's pretty early on because he mm-hmm. actually sees her bathing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mistaken identities. Clearly. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole point of this one. Now, unlike Coffee Prince, though, like, the anger and issues that sort of flare from, you know, pretending to be someone else doesn't really happen uh, with the boys she knows. It's more of just an issue of, like, society in general, right? Yeah, um, which is interesting because in um, it seems like it should be the opposite. It should seem yeah. like in, the, in modern day, it shouldn't be more about the fact that she was a girl, and it should be more about the fact that he like, thought he was gay, or whatever was going on there. Whereas this one, it has a lot more to do with this, that she's a woman, he's afraid that this will, you know, lead to, like, her being punished or mm-hmm. something. So she's, like, killed because she's lying to, like, the king and everything. Yes, definitely um, different concerns in, yeah. the, in the different eras, in the Joseon era. Uh, so, bad guy turned good. It definitely, it's, it's another Darcy. It's yeah, a, like he's definitely cold, a Darcy syndrome. Um, you know, very you know aloof, you know, genius who realizes that. He and the thing her. is, like, and then he's like, and then he goes completely different. You know, he goes yeah. starts out like, oh, you know, doesn't think about girls at all, and then he ends up like obviously like loving her and yeah. in a really like seemingly passionate way. So, and this one reminds me a little bit more of like Twelfth Night, like directly, just because yeah. it sort of has like 
a lot more the fact she has to provide for her family and all mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. But also really fun about this one is it reminded me, if you've seen the BBC drama Robin Hood, it feels a lot more like that. Yeah. Because it seems like there's sort of like a problem of the week. Like there's a foe that has to like overcome. action scenes in the same yeah. way and things like that with like the archery. So we, you know, I guess that's definitely a historical thing that we see yeah. a lot more of that. The only other historical that I've sort of watched most of is uh, The Return of Ildume and that had a lot of the same sort of like action and everything. So definitely, that's definitely a trend we see in the historical dramas that we've, you know, it's new for us because we've only really watched the modern dramas. Mm -hmm. Um, piggyback ride? Yes, there is. He's there? drunk. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a drunk piggyback well, no, ride? No, it's not a piggyback ride. She more just helps him. Okay. Right? Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, but, that, you know, that brings people together. The sentiment <laughs> of the alcohol and... <laughs> Uh, kisses, so there's definitely know. some good kisses in this yes. one. This one actually might make our best kisses list. Yeah, I mean, if we, we do, it. do a new one. Yeah, I think in my 2012 list, this one might make it on there, uh, since we just watched it, I hadn't seen it before I made my other list. Uh, fashion. This was the hardest part for us yeah. in the beginning. I think the reason I didn't really want to get into the drama is because I couldn't really, like, get over the hat and, like, the look. But once you get past that, it's really enjoyable. Yeah, I think that we're just not used to seeing it. Like, yeah. I mean, we have a lot more... I think just culturally we have a lot more exposure to like what traditional like Japanese would look like and things like that or um, you know even Chinese and then really with very little exposure with Korean so I think that for us that was definitely uh, one of <laughs> that's our mom <laughs> that was definitely one of our uh, you know biggest issues with this just because we hadn't been exposed to it so now it seems more like oh I understand now but it, just to begin with it was definitely a little hard <laughs> yeah I think that. Um Oh, the, the women's fashion, though, in this? And I can't remember the name yeah. of, like, the prostitute, concubine, whatever. They're called, um... The, the they're gorgeous. amazing, yeah. Yeah, so we definitely... Uh, we, we said we could teach us how they do the hair. We'd like to learn. <laughs> That's what we thought was the most <laughs> unlikely thing when she or dresses up as one of the one of those people in order to uh, save um, Sun Yun. Uh, in order to do that, she, like, does this whole hair thing. Yeah, she did like, the hair, the makeup, and the outfit. And I'm pretty sure those outfits take a really long, long time, time to put on. So I'm not sure how that happened in a matter of, like, two minutes. Yeah. But it was definitely good to watch. <laughs> you know, it added a little bit more, like, sexual tension to the whole story. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the outfits were gorgeous. And the other, um, main, like, sort of the head prostitute, uh, her outfits are amazing. were gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, so beautiful. So I definitely really appreciated that. The men's outfits we can't really understand, yeah. but they're really cute guys, so we can get past <laughs> it. Um, music in this one, so the main song is a JYJ song. Which we didn't know until actually we were done watching yeah. it. Yeah. And then we saw them. So if you like JYJ, the, yeah, you have the obviously. main guy from JYJ is obviously yeah. in the, uh, one of the, the three um, band members the lead is, guy. is in this, but... Um, yeah, so definitely the music was... It was interesting that they had, like, contemporary music in historical drama, so that was cute. Um, That's why we think it's not quite as historical as probably some other... Yeah, I'm not sure about the historical accuracy of the show, but we, we definitely liked it. Uh, the ratings... Um, I love this drama. I mean, I think this is a nine. I just, I think that all around, this one works out for me. The characters are great. I wanted to watch more of it. This is one of those ones where I wish there was, like, 50 episodes, um, just because I, you know, didn't want it to stop. I wanted to see where, where other parts of this could lead, and I think that makes it a good drama. Yeah. You want to see all the different facets. I think I agree. I mean, I definitely also give this a nine, and maybe even nine and a half. I just think this was, it, to me, is on par with, like, the British period pieces that we really yeah. like so much, and, you know, it was really sweet. I think it was interesting, like, the way, like, feminism is sort of incorporated into this drama, and just, like, the, the way that, you know, she's once Empowering educated, her. and she's very well educated, and all the sorts of, you know, problems that we see in a lot of classic dramas, you know, the nature of being, like, a, you know, strong, um, intelligent woman. So I think that's definitely something that we haven't seen in a lot of other modern dramas. No. So I really liked it in these. I thought that the guys were great. There's a really great cast. And um, I would definitely watch, you know, this one again. I highly recommend it. So. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> See you later.